Hi, what's up guys and welcome to another episode of Next Gen Tutorial. This episode I'll be talking about subtitles in Plex. Alright, so let's get right to it. First of all, we'll open the Plex Media Manager. Double click this icon here and it'll open up the window. The window that we need. We go to settings right here and you want to make sure that you go to agents and show advanced settings always good and you have here the free base which you have to click and it'll tell you open subtitles.org now I know for a fact that it's not always marked so let's mark check that little box here and it'll also ask you to log in to open subtitles.com so you'll have to make an account um, you just go to that website and you register an account and you'll be able to use it it's it's not hard it's not hard at all then you just log into this you click it and it'll automatically fetch your subtitles if it finds the subtitles for the correct TV show or movie so what it does is it looks at the length of the movie and it looks it looks at the length of um, of the subtitle so if the subtitle is 2 hours and 22 minutes and the movie is 2 hours and 22 minutes then it's gonna use that subtitle but it's gonna give you even a few options of subtitles to choose from so that's really awesome so if you press your M key while uh, watching a movie on your laptop, you'll uh, you just have to go to your. Oh, I, I could show you actually. So mine is open at the moment. I should have subtitles on a few of my movies. So let's let's uh, check out this one here. And as you can see, immediately I have subtitles. Now, if those weren't in sync. I could go, I could press M, M is a shortcut to open this little menu here, enter and as you can see I have two, t two subtitles to choose from, so how awesome is that? If it's not the correct subtitle, I can always change it and hope the, well, that it is the correct subtitle. Now there is another thing you have to look for as well, and that's of course your languages. Automatically select audio track. <laughs> you can check that on, but I don't think that's really necessary because I'm assuming lots of you prefer it in English. And then you have to have this on English, of course. Your subtitle mode. Make sure it's always enabled. If you don't, you'll have all you you'll always have to go press M and enable your subtitles on screen. Now if you don't if it doesn't find subtitles it will automatically not enable subtitles. So don't think like something's wrong it's just cuz it can't find subtitles. Now if he can't find subtitles that's most likely because the name of the file that it's looking subtitles for isn't 100% correct. So let's say you've downloaded a movie from iTunes or something you know what I mean guys and it's called um, IS which, which stands for ice soldiers now he won't know what IS stands for so you have to like rename the file to ice soldiers and then maybe if you leave the extension like 1080p DHC don't know what what what's behind it if you leave that then it will find the subtitle well it'll be more likely that it will find the subtitle and uh, I think that's about it for subtitles it's really easy but you have to know what to do so make sure you go to your agents and then you click movies you go to freebase and you make sure open subtitles is on now the same thing for TV shows you go to TV shows you go to the TVB TVDB TV database and same here you have the open subtitles option as well now what is also recommended 
is that when you're at Freebase, just check everything. It'll help you out. It will make your Plex movie or TV show experience so much better. Oh, by the way, if you don't see this one here, Podnapisi movie subtitles, that's an extra agent that I've downloaded as well. If you're interested in knowing how to do that or in uh, trying to know where I got that from, I will make a tutorial on that if you want. But post it in the comments, because this one is an extra subtitle agent. So I have two subtitle agents trying to find subtitles for me, which makes my chances of getting the right subtitle or getting any subtitle at all much bigger. And then you have the movie database. That's not that interesting at the moment. And uh, yeah, here, same thing, open subtitles and put not PC. Pod not PC. Pod not PC is a TV subtitles. That's uh, kind of a weird name. No offense to Pod not PC uh, people, but okay. Um, that's it. That's it for your subtitles. I hope you guys learned something. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. It will help me out a lot. Bye bye, guys.